Hey you guys, this is Kim with the vlog of Salvage Living and my sweet cat Boo, who will not get off the table. So he's gonna hang out with us today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am excited to have you here. I really hope you enjoy the crafts I'm about to share with you. I wanna make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that y'all know when I have new videos coming out because I have a lot of fun stuff planned. But today we're doing a little bit of an extension from the video of last week where I have some more newspaper crafts for Halloween for you. I think these are so much fun. They are amazing if you have zero budget, which I mean, who has a big budget, right? So last week I kind of explained how I came up with the idea and if you didn't catch that, I hope you'll go back and watch that video to get those ideas. But this week we're gonna get extended a little bit more and really I just use newspaper because it's what I had on hand. I like to use supplies that I have on hand, and I think the newspaper's stinky anyway because there's no good headlines. So we're gonna make that newspaper fun and funny and scary in the best way possible. Today, I have three crafts for you. If you make each one of them and you hang out with me until the end, I'm gonna show you how I style them in my house so you can see how all these crafts come together to make a really cute Halloween mantle. Last week, we did a really cute uh, kitchen scene for Halloween. You can mix and match all these ideas, but really they are very cohesive to put into all of your Halloween decorations. So I wanna make sure that you watch all of them and pick and choose your favorite ones because they're all very simple and easy to make. Also, if you really like these ideas, make sure you get on our text list because that's kind of where I usually let projects go first. Those are my BFFs, if you will. My text number is 214-206. 3675. I put all the details in the description of this video if you want to catch it down there. And now we're going to just jump right in and get started on this craft. You guys have fun. No Halloween is complete without a witch's broom. I love this project. It's super simple, just like the rest of them. And we're going to use newspaper. So take your newspaper, you're just going to fold it in half where it naturally folds. And you're going to want to use, a, you know, four or five stacks, however thick you want your broom. You can make it as thick or thin as you want. Start with the folded edge and cut about hmm, an inch or two down and an inch wide. And then flip your paper and cut long strips, one inch wide. But you're going to leave a gap that is not cut between the top portion that you cut and the bottom portion you cut. I hope that makes sense. You can kind of see where it's cut at the top and cut at the bottom. Now unfold the paper and get your layers apart and fold them and set them side by side. Okay, we're gonna kinda do a little system here where you take a stick or you could use a dowel rod or even an old broomstick that you find in, you know, laying around whatever you have on hand. Take your hot glue gun and on that little center section that is not cut, you're gonna put a pretty good chunk of glue. Start off wrapping it tight around the broomstick glue it to the broomstick and then just keep rolling each layer of newspaper up until you get the whole thing wrapped tight around your broomstick and you're going to have the beginning of your little broom. I used jute string. Go ahead and tie it pretty tight to tie the newspaper together on your broomstick and then take it and wrap around that center portion. You can do a little dot of glue to make sure it stays put. And this is really just a decorative piece to make it look like a real broom where you've tied off. I like to cut the little loops at the top, but you could leave them as is if you wanted to, just kind of make it up as you go. And literally that simple, you guys, you have a precious broom. Now let's talk about pumpkins. Cheap dollar store pumpkins are the best. These little ugly styrofoam pumpkins are perfect to transform. I mean, they're just begging for a makeover. So take your plain newspaper, cut it into one inch strips, and you're just gonna take a pretty good amount of these. And this is what we're gonna make our new pumpkin with. You're gonna wanna take the little styrofoam pumpkin top off of the Dollar Tree pumpkin and just trash that, because it's horrible. Then take your little strips of newspaper and some Mod Podge. Mod Podge is the best transformation product ever. You're gonna work in small sections and paint your pumpkin. The Mod Podge dries pretty quick, so go ahead and just do little sections like I said, wrap those strips of newspaper around, and just go around the entire pumpkin layering and covering all of the orange until you get the whole thing done. You may need to cut your strips shorter in some areas, and you may need to just go back and forth. You're just going to do a hefty layer of Mod Podge. This does get messy, but that's part of the fun of these kinds of crafts. 
Once you get all of the bottom layer strips on your pumpkin, put a layer of Mod Podge on the outside, and then use your fingers to really press that newspaper into the crevices of the pumpkin so you can see the formation. Um, it helps just to lay that newspaper down really nice. Once you allow that pumpkin to dry completely, take some acrylic craft paint. I like to just use white and black to add some highs and lows and add some dimension to the pumpkin. I use a sponge brush, just a dry sponge brush and a little bitty bit of paint, not very much. You can also use wax. If you have furniture wax lying around, that makes a really pretty dark creases and you're going to want to look at the highs and lows. So if there's a crack in the pumpkin or a low spot, that's where you're going to put the dark. And if you have the high spots or the top of the pumpkin, that's where you're going to put the white. And again, just do a little bitty bitty light coat. Not a lot. This isn't painting the pumpkin. It's just adding some accents to it. Then once again, you're going to, while you're out in the yard looking for your witch's broom, you're going to get a little stick. Use some scissors to tap a little hole in the top of your pumpkin and add a stick for a new stem that's a little more natural. Now, if you want to make some sweet little curly cues, find some green jute string and wrap it around a pencil or a milkshake straw. Milkshake straws actually work better because the Mod Podge doesn't stick as much. Wrap it tight, layer it in Mod Podge, let it dry, and then you have precious little curly cues that you can add to the top of your newspaper pumpkin. Let's bring this whole look together with a newspaper spider web. I seriously love this project. It's kind of like a winter snowflake. So you're gonna fold your paper in half. It's best to start with a square. And you're basically have four folds. So you're gonna go in half, in half, in half. And then you're gonna bring that fold, that triangle down to where the long sides meet. Use a pencil and sketch your web out so that you have an easy way to cut. The top is gonna to be a simple arch for the top of the web. And then on the next layers that you're doing, you're not gonna cut all the way to the edge. So you can see here that I'm cutting the top to make it uniform. And then on this next one, you're gonna cut almost to the edge, but not quite. And then you're gonna cut that top piece off and you're just gonna repeat this same pattern over and over all the way down. Now, however intricate you want this web, you can cut these little pieces fatter or thinner. It just depends on you know, if you want a chunky web or a thin web or however you want it. And the newspaper is pretty easy to cut, but you wanna have some good sharp scissors because there are a number of layers into this web. You can make these giant, you can make them small. This was as large as you can get out of one piece of newspaper. So this is pretty much the biggest web that you can get. Um, I love it. So what I did was just finish cutting this out and then unfold it. Now to use this in my house, what I did was cut some long strips of newspaper that were about the same width as the web pieces. And I hot glued them to the ends, to like the points of the web. And that made it get some long strings that I could drape across an open picture frame. And then I just adhe adhered those to the back of the picture frame to create a web across the picture frame. And I'm about to show you what all three of these projects look like together in my home. It's just a fun way to make them mix and match, add some decor that you already maybe had on hand, get some fun fresh pumpkins, paint some pumpkins, whatever you want to do. But this is a great newspaper mantle on a super duper tight budget. you guys I hope you enjoyed it make sure you tell me in the comments which one was your favorite thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time when I bring you more easy DIY for a life and home redeemed